We'll delve deeper into this in a short while on front and center. Elsewhere, Interior and National Administration Cabinet Secretary Kidure Kindikia said more people will be arrested in connection to the corruption at passport issuance centers. Days after Kindiki labeled Nyaya House a crime scene, the CS made an impromptu visit this evening announcing a 1.2 billion shillings expenditure on new printers to alleviate the passport backlog. Here's NTV's Brian Mushiri with more. At about 4.30 p.m., CS Kithure Kindiki arrived at the gates of Nyayo House. At first, he was drawn to a large crowd around the entrance. Many people were forced to vacate as they did not have any business in or around the premises. CS Kindiki then walked into the building and was ushered in by officers who could be seen making fronting calls through their radios, signifying that business was unusual. At the entrance, the CS said the security scanner was a security threat in itself. It was barely working and the computer was regarded old. At the first registration point, Kindiki met this man. He was said to have begun his scholarship abroad on the 8th of August this year. He was called in as an emergency applicant on the 23rd of August, but to date, he had not been served. The officers on site were had pressed to explain the delay in serving the emergency case. It took Kindiki's intervention for the young man to be ushered into a room where he was served at once. The CS was sorry for the broken passport machine. Going forward, we will correct the mess, as I have said, uh, through the appropriations in aid. I just want to plead with the people of Kenya to be patient a little while because we will, we will solve this problem. There are no two ways about it. CS Kindiki reiterating his warning at corrupt individuals at the passport issuance centers. But the truth is also, the public cannot be complaining in vain. There must be a few among us who are soiling our name. And that's why I said last week, and I want to repeat it now, we will clean up this place from corruption, cartels. Kindiki downplayed the question on whether the government will or has leased passport printing machines. Nonetheless, he said the State Department of Immigration has gotten 1.3 billion shillings from the National Treasury that will be used to purchase as many printers as possible to cut back on the backlog which currently stands at 44,000 unprinted passports. We generate a revenue of nearly 20 billion shillings a year. Some of the equipment that has frustrated us from del delivering the services that these Kenyans you see here are looking for are costing a hundred million or less. One printer is in the region of 100, 150 million. Whether indeed the mess at Nyayo House will be sorted out is now a matter of wait and see. Brian Mushiri, NTV, Nairobi.